12 News has learned President-elect Joe Biden has in fact chosen Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo to serve in his cabinet as U.S. Commerce Secretary. She would be the first Rhode Islander to serve in the cabinet since the Carter administration. And we have some in-depth coverage now of that developing news and Governor Gina Raimondo's potential move to Washington. Now, if she accepts and if she's confirmed, this would set in motion major changes for us right here in Rhode Island. To break it all down, Target 12 Politics Editor Ted Nisi, who's been tracking speculation about the governor, <laughs> joining the Biden camp now for months. So first, Ted, glad to have you with us on a day <laughs> like today. What do we know at this point? Well, Brian, you summed it up well. Uh, my understanding, a, a prominent elected Democrat told me earlier today that his understanding is the governor has been offered the job, but he did not know whether she has accepted the job. And that is where things stand at this hour. I think it's uh, unlikely that the governor's name would be leaking out uh, in national news outlets as we're seeing the New York Times as Jonathan Martin has reported she's getting the job but at this hour no one close to the governor is saying firmly she has accepted the job and she is leaving however that confirmation could come as soon as later today I think Ted how did the governor of the smallest state in the country become a top contender for a cabinet position yeah well Kim I actually spoke with Senator Jack Reed about this yesterday of course she has had a national profile for years and she served as head of the Democratic Governors Association and in other roles but he also thinks part of it was her performance when she was interviewed to be the vice president here's a listen you know I think she's superbly talented she's done a remarkable job particularly here in the COVID crisis and uh, and uh, I know she impressed the vice president of now president-elect Biden when she talked to him about uh, being his vice presidential candidate. So it would not surprise me, but I have no specific knowledge. So we know now, Ted, that if Raimondo departs, Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee would assume her role as we go down the list there, then <laughs> right. who fills his position. So McKee will get to choose his own replacement if he becomes the governor. That's what happened. Uh, Lincoln Allman did that when Bob Wagan left to run for Congress in the 90s, and that's where things stand now. We've already confirmed my Target 12 colleague, Steph Machado, talked this afternoon to State Senator Louis De Palma. He said he's indicated to McKee he'd like the job. Other names you're hearing, Central Falls Mayor James Diosa and some of the other mayors from the Blackstone Valley where McKee is from. So as you said at the top here, if the governor uh, does this, it's going to create all sorts of uh, spillover effects in the rest of Rhode Island politics. But Ted, even if the governor accepts, she's still going to be the governor tomorrow. <laughs> yes, this is an important point, right? The governor does not leave the second we're told she's taking the Commerce Secretary job. As you said, she needs to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Uh, I assume that would happen fairly quickly, unless, of course, there's some snag or something comes up. But I'd say you could assume, even if she takes this, she would stay in her current role until, uh, her current role until maybe some point in February when the Senate confirms her. So there'd be a transition from Raimondo to McKee again, if she accepts. All right, Ted, as always, your insight is helpful on these stories. We will wait to hear both more from you, Raimondo and McKee, on the story. Thanks so much.